Hey folks, welcome back to Out of Bounds Golf. Today we are playing Pagoda Ridge. It's located in Glen Valley, British Columbia, roughly 60 kilometers east of Vancouver. The 160 acre property was purchased in 1979 by Lyle Brown. It's still currently family owned and run. Uh, the Brown family got Terry Woodford to design the course, but Lyle was uh, very much involved in helping uh, clear the property of trees, building some of the features. Um, it's very much a mom and pop organization, which is really cool. Um, some of the Brown family members still work on the course. I think the son manages it. Um, one of the daughters works there as well. Um, so it's very neat to go to a course and just be run by one family. Um, and they've done a fabulous job at it as well. Uh, first hole, nice dog leg to the right a little bit, 335 yards. I was looking just to put something out there, nice and easy with the driver. Luckily, the my opening shot had a nice little fade that worked really well with the hole. Um, 82 yards out, um, we got the 52 degree wedge here. And just looking to find the middle of the green, kind of get into the flow of the game, not too much, put too much pressure on the first shot. Uh, ended up hitting a great um, great shot. Got a nice little uphill putt for birdie here, probably about 10 feet or so. And uh, yeah, just kind of give it a nice stroke, but just wasn't enough. Missed it on the high side. Uh, but I'll take a tap in for par on the first hole any day. Um, second hole, 400, 400 yard par four. Um, it's dead straight, just looking to hit a nice kind of easy straight drive. Um, and uh, yeah, give my, put myself another good position. I guess it's open there. Yeah. Uh, ended up fading this one out to the right again. I guess I didn't really factor in on the previous hole, I hit the same shot type. Um, but the hole like worked with that shot and I didn't even realize that I should probably try and turn my hands over a little more and get a little straighter. But anyways, ended up in an okay spot. Got a nine iron here in my hand and just wanted to put it up over those trees, almost exactly how I did it, which was pretty amazing for it to be so early into a round with no warm up and just kind of envision the exact shot and execute it. Um, yeah, so left myself with a nice, I probably should have been an easy birdie putt. Um, but uh, yeah, it didn't get this one to go, unfortunately. Um, but again, take a nice tap in par and kind of ease into my round. Um, obviously, on, on my mind, I have, oh, I should be two under right now. But again, no warm up, uh, no driving range, nothing. So I can only expect so much. Uh, I got a nice. Decent par three here. I got an eight iron hand because the pin is at the very front of the green and it's actually quite a lot long of the green. So, um, yeah, uh, but I ended up putting it a bit too short. I was kind of afraid of putting it past the pin because it really slopes back to front and I didn't want to scary downhill putt because the greens are actually quite, quite quick. Um, got a 52 degree wedge here and just trying to chip it up. Normally I hit an eight iron and bump and run. I'm not really sure why I hit the 52 because um, I didn't hit it very good and it's early in the round I have like a nice delicate shot chip like that um, but yeah so I got a tough a tough uh, comeback here for par down the hill um, just trying to get the speed right and just miss the break uh, so tap in bogey and moving on uh, another par four, this one's dead straight. I was the first to tee off and I didn't realize that the water in the middle there on the right hand side was like right in the landing zone. Um, yeah, I've never played there before. And, but luckily I had hit a perfect drive dead straight. Um, I think I caught a little bit of the rough, but yeah, two of my other playing partners ended up hitting in the water because they didn't realize how close it was and didn't really pay attention to mine. I guess, and end up in the water, but luckily I got lucky. Uh, but here I made a, a grave error and got my yardage just wrong. I thought it was like 170 something yards and it was really 160. And so I hit way too much club and put it over the green. I'm not sure how I screwed that up because the 150 yard marker was really on my left hand side. Anyways, I'm in this terrible cabbage, sheep, tall, 
fescue, rough. And I got this big tuff right behind my ball and I actually can't, I have to adjust my stance and my swing angle because I couldn't swing through that. Um, so I'm just trying to hit like a sand shot, just get under the ball, hit behind it. Luckily my club caught in such a way that it pulled it back towards the hole. And I have that little tough little chip there, but ended up being really casual about it and just worked out really well. Um, so tap in for bogey. So not bad considering I could have taken two whacks out of that thick stuff. Uh, again, another easy par four, pretty short. The landing area is very open. The wow. only issue is that one tree, but my ball f goes well beyond that. Um, so there was no danger. So I was like, literally just grip it and rip it. If it goes right, it's fine. If it goes left, it's fine. It's kind of nice to have every now and then have one of those holes where you don't really have to worry about like any trouble or danger. 110 yards here, got the 56 degrees. Um, I should have hit the 52, like this is like well, like right at the cusp of my max range with that club. I just needed a very good shot. Um, the camera didn't record my first putt, so this is where I ended up after my first putt, leaving myself a very tough par putt. I thought it was gonna break way to the left and it just went dead straight and I put myself like 10 feet to the right of the hole. Um, so I got another tough par putt here. Um, but ended up getting this one to go, which was really good. Um, happy to make a nice, decent long putt to save par. Um, yeah, again, never played this course before. Par five. We got two guys we were playing with. They said, "Yeah, just go over those trees. You have the distance." And so I hit the three wood to get more height, just to make sure I got over top of them. Uh, but they didn't tell me that like I'd be going near the other fairway, so that's why they called four there. It ended up being totally fine. So I have 230 yards, got a three iron. Um, there is water on this hole that I'm hitting off of, just towards the tee box. So I wanted to make sure I avoided that and ended up hitting a fade back into the fairway. I just really didn't want to turn it over and be in that water. Um, but pretty happy with this, you know, like 30 yards out and a par five, 56 degrees. Just looking to put a nice little flopper in there. Ended up catching it a bit too much and flying it past the hole. Um, so I had a tricky downhill putt. This is like, again, pretty sloped. Um, so really concentrating on getting the speed right because I didn't want to run it way past the hole and have a tricky par putt uh, coming back. Um, so nailed the speed and just kind of missed it out to the left a little bit. But again, tap in for par. Pretty happy with that. Oh, Hard okay. to complain. You got it. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I'm just, I think I saw one of the other guys like do this like putter toss behind the back and catch it. Um, but I was unable to do it, and I just kept trying. But anyways, maybe I should just stick to playing golf. Anyways, uh, par four here, uh, dog leg right. And I'm just trying to drive this driver right into the corner where those bunkers are. Um, because I knew I didn't have the distance going to the bunkers, and so I had a pretty good shot. Actually, it was past the bunkers. Um, got a nine iron here, 140 yards out. I probably should have hit like an easy eight out of this rough, because um, I was nervous that the club was going to catch, and I just wasn't going to have enough. So I kind of overswung a bit and put myself out to the right here, and kind of short sided myself. I was thinking just a little flopper and landed on that fringe there and it'll kick hard towards the hole. Um, ended up executing it perfectly how I envisioned, but the fringe just didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. I thought it would have kicked hard and it would have rolled up nicely. So again, another lengthy par putt. Um, yeah, I was really unsure of this break. Um, I had it going right to left um, and then like standing over it, I was like, mm, maybe it's left or right. Uh, but I ended up just sticking with my initial guts and it was, it was actually wrong. <laughs> it did go left or right, uh, but I ended up lipping out just a little bit. Um, so yeah, hole number eight here, part three, 127 yards, but it is uphill. So I grabbed the nine iron and I wasn't sure how much the slope would affect the distance. Um, so I was kind of scared to commit to it, and I ended up putting it in the bunker. 
Um, yeah. So, just looking to put up a nice throw one into the hill here, have it spin, check up. Um, hit a pretty good shot. It just didn't have as much spin on it as I'd like. I think I caught it just a little bit fatter and sort of rolled out a bit more. Uh, again, kind of a tricky par putt. Not actually that far, but it's severely sloped down to the right. And I actually left it short. I couldn't believe it. It was like literally in the mouth. It was like on the edge. Uh, yeah, so nine, hole number nine here. Uh, par four again. Only one par five on the front nine. So... Yeah, lots of par fours. Uh, hit a pretty good drive here. Nice little, oh really? Little bit of a draw, but ended up mostly pretty much dead straight, and leaving myself with about 100 yards. I've got the 56, and just I think the 100, 103, 105 is kind of like my max with that club. So I was like, just looking to hit a full 56 and should have been fine. Um, yeah. Ended up hitting it just a little bit further. Uh, again, like back to back to front, sloping green. Just trying to get the speed right, and hopefully the line is good. Um, because if I hit this too much, it would have just gone way past the hole. I don't think I hit any particularly great putts that gave myself a chance. I was more worried about speed. Just the greens were a bit tricky. Uh, Rudy wasn't here today due to a self-quarantine, but he is totally fine. We'll be back together in action next week. Thanks for checking in.